r slash ask reddit what's the scariest nightmare you had I as a kid had a recurring nightmare at least a few times a week. It always consisted of me getting lured out into a dark open field with nothing but a lone cave standing about 20 meters in front of me. I would just stand there, staring into the darkness until I could start to make out the twisted decrepit features of a pale white child inching closer and closer to me. I couldn't move, scream, or even look away. I could only stand there and watch as this child almost monster would come closer to me. It was such a helpless feeling, and no matter how many times I would have this nightmare, it would always terrify me, just as badly as the first time. Now, I'm quite spooked of caves and open fields. Similar story, when I was a kid I would often have this nightmare, where I was in the middle of a grey empty room with no doors or windows, sitting tied on a chair, and surrounded by black shadows that would come closer and closer, while in a way, staring at me. I would scream my lungs out, but I could hear nothing. This would go on in what seemed about a couple of in-dream minutes, until I could eventually hear myself scream, but only as loud as a whisper. I was just chilling on my couch with my dog watching TV. Everything's normal until I look at him, and has staring dead at me nose touching mine with big human teeth, no skin, his top and bottom lip have extended to such proportions it doesn't seem possible, then he just lets out this blood curdling screech. Woke up sweating bullets, and was genuinely terrified. The dream was legit like 5 seconds, but felt way longer. I had a dream I was being chased through the forest and mountains, came up to a cliff, and felt a push and started plummeting. When I looked to see who was chasing me, and had pushed me, it was myself looking back at me. Messed me up. As a teen. I worked as a receptionist for an old catholic church office. I'd answer the door and phone, loan out keys for meetings at the elementary school, and I'd lock the church at night. Here's a dream. It's night time and I go into the church to do my rounds and lock the place up. I notice that someone has vandalized the place by putting satanic symbols all over in what looks like blood. As I'm walking around and checking out the vandalism, I think to myself how upset the pastor is going to be when he sees this. Then I notice sitting on the altar table is a book. It is the satanic bible. I pick it up and decide to at least remove that from the altar before reporting what has happened. I take the book into the room where the priests get ready for mass. I put the book on a countertop when suddenly I hear a sharp voice behind me. What are you doing? I turn around and there's an altar boy standing in front of me, maybe 12 years old. Then he says, I put that there. Cold, pure fear envelops me. I can't even think of anything to say. He's just staring at me with a crazy intensity. This can't be happening. This is a dream. Wake up. I woke up. I'm in my early 40s. This happened when I was 17. And I never ever forgot it. I had never woke myself up from inside a dream before, and never have, since with that kind of clarity. It scared the crap out of me, because it was so freaking clear, so intense and so lucid. Not really clear but something about Jupiter. Floating above it feeling an intense feeling of being watched. Really unsettling. There was a monster that haunted people with hallucinations, if they ever saw someone die. My brain made up a memory that I actually saw something like this so now I was being haunted. After some time I had a feeling that something wasn't right. Suddenly I saw the scariest freaking monster I wasn't ever expecting to even imagine. It was scary in two ways. First kind of scary is when you know that it can harm you, like when it has sharp teeth, is big etc. Second type of scary is when something doesn't look normal. For example many people picture Satan as a man with a goat head, and it looks pretty scary when you think about it. I don't remember exactly how it looked, but I remember that it had a head of a chameleon. I drowned. It felt so incredibly real. It was like I felt my lungs fill with water and I saw myself sinking deeper and deeper until everything fade to black. Happened to me twice. In my dream I found myself in a really fancy mansion. But it wasn't flowery or anything. Lots of carved wooden dim lights. The person who lived there was a vaguely unsettling man, tall and gaunt with unusually long fingers. He was dressed in rich clothes. I sort of wandered the house for a while, and eventually found myself at a dark stone stairway that led to a basement. 
I went down, and I don't want to describe the things I saw there. Let's just say I'm still shocked that my mind could have come up with things that horrible. Long story short I ran out of the basement and tried to leave the house, but I was lost and everything looked the same and the lights were getting dimmer and I could hear the gaunt man chasing me because he was breathing heavily and I knew if he caught me, he'd bring me back into that basement. I knew I wouldn't escape a second time. But the walls were getting closer and the breathing was closer, and I could see his shadow as he sprinted at me from behind. His long fingers looked like claws reaching for me. Then I woke up. I remember that dream more clearly than any other. I had these really abstract nightmares when I was 5 years old. There weren't any people or rooms or monsters, it was more of a combination of really odd noises and shapes, I can't exactly describe it, but it was ducking terrifying. It felt like there was peace and harmony in one moment and all of a sudden it's chaos and devastation in the next one, then all of a sudden it's dead silent, and in the next moment there's chaos again. When I woke up I always broke out in tears, as soon as I turned the lights on. I'm more than glad I don't have anything like that anymore. I was having another moment of sleep paralysis. They seemed to pop up every once in a blue moon. I was sleeping fully clothed on top of my mattress on my right side in fetal position. My closet door was barely cracked open, and through the crack there was a man slash figure watching me. His eye was very large and wide open. I started to breathe heavily and wanted to get up but couldn't move. The closet door opens all the way and this big black figure floats slowly over to me. All I could make out were his haunting eyes, everything else was black. He was fully cloaked. He leaned in getting an inch away from my face to his. I could smell him. It. Are you ready? He asks. I felt as if my life was on the line. I ask, ready for what? And at that moment he stands up and says, you're ready. He brings his hand up above his head. Except it wasn't a hand. It was in the shape of a pointed black spear and he plunges it into my sternum at lightning speed. I jolted awake at that exact moment and felt my whole body was on fire and my sternum felt as if it were broken. I was sweating and crying. Then all of a sudden I stopped. I had looked up and saw the closet door was still wide open the way he had left it. To this day I have no idea what happened to me or why, but I know for damn sure the closet was almost closed when I nodded off. When I was young I had a dream I was in the middle of nowhere. I would be standing outside with nothing but a house with a large porch. I would go into the house and hear a loud screech from a good distance away. I would walk down a long driveway, past her old gate, and onto a main road with nothing else on it except fields. I walked into a field, and when I was in the middle of it a brown and grayish striped creature that looked like Carol from Where the Wild Things Are, referring to the 2009 film Not the Book. I later described the house and driveway to my mom and she recognized it. She took me to it, and it wasn't even a mile away from my house, and I had never seen it. That thing still haunts me to this day. I used to get sleep paralysis a lot, and every time it happened, I would see this creature standing over me. He was tall, had grey leathery skin, black stringy hair, and long pointy black nails. His eyes were bright yellow. He would just stand over me and watch me sleep. It always felt like I was awake. I would just stare at him. I would try to scream but I couldn't. He never touched me or spoke or anything. Just stood there. I used to struggle with anxiety real bad and later, I started associating this thing with my anxiety. It was always there just watching me and I couldn't do anything about it. Eventually, my anxiety started to go away and so did the creature. The last time I saw him, I was asleep on the couch and I started having sleep paralysis. He was standing over me and pushing his hands down on my chest so I couldn't breathe and then he let out a scream. It was beyond terrifying and I woke up panting. I still get sleep paralysis but not as often as I used to and I don't see the grey guy anymore. I still have a little anxiety but it is nothing compared to what it used to be. There was this one nightmare I have a fascination with. For a little backstory I lived in a small town that had old adobe buildings everywhere and some forest around. The nightmare started with me standing in a somewhat altered version of a street that led to my house. I was paranoid the entire time with the moon lighting my way and all I could hear slash feel was like a melancholy urgency. 
then I heard the howling of something that was so sad, it didn't necessarily want to hurt me, it just wanted to find me. The horror came from the paranoia of looking over my shoulder in the pale moonlight every other second trying my hardest to get home as fast as possible. Point the fear of the forest all around with old rundown houses and the wailing was just too much, yet I can't stop thinking about it. Like the video and comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and follow on Twitter and Reddit to keep up with new videos and updates.